G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com, and I'm here to answer the question on everyone's lips Should you upgrade to Photoshop Elements 2022? Each year, Adobe brings us a new version of Photoshop Elements. And every version has new guided edits, performance improvements, and new features. But I get the same question every year. Should I upgrade? So let's look at how you use Photoshop Elements and see if you need to upgrade. So if you're considering upgrading to Photoshop Elements 2022, I would suggest that you check out my review video and then also go ahead and download a trial you can grab a 30-day trial from Adobe at digiscraphq.com slash PSE trial. Play with it for 30 days and see how you like it. One thing to note about upgrading is that in the US, Photoshop Elements costs $99.99 and the upgrade saves you $20. You can upgrade from any previous version of Photoshop Elements, not just the most recent version. So that's great if you've got an old version of Photoshop Elements 10 sitting around, jump on that upgrade and save yourself some money. Photoshop Elements is sold on a perpetual license. So once you've bought it, you can use it for as long as you like. As long as your computer supports it, you can use it. You can even install it when you get a new computer. You can log in to your free Adobe account and you can always find your license key and the software downloads there if you need to reinstall it. And I'll have links to how you can access that in the notes for this video. Many people don't upgrade every year and it makes a big cost saving compared to monthly fees for Photoshop CC. So with a perpetual license, you don't need to upgrade, but you often will want to because the new features are just so good. So the first thing to consider if you're thinking about upgrading is whether your computer can run Photoshop Elements 2022. There's no use in getting excited about the new warp tool if your computer just can't run it. So you'll need to have at least eight gigabytes of RAM and around 13 gigabytes of hard drive space on your internal hard drive to install Photoshop Elements 2022 and run it easily. If you want to edit video, you'll need to have uh, 16 or more gigabytes of RAM. RAM is the working memory of your computer. So it helps with opening larger files, editing videos and running complicated filters. The space you need on your internal hard drive is to store all the program and its associated files. So if you're on Windows, you'll need to have Microsoft Windows 10 version 2004, which is the May 2020 update, or later. Uh, version 21H1 for May 2021 is recommended and it only runs on the 64-bit version of Windows. I've got more details about this in my blog post. For Mac users, you need to be using Mac OS Catalina 10.15 or newer and Mac OS 11 Big Sur is recommended. So now we've got that out of the way and you you verified your computer can run the new version or maybe you've just justified a new computer. If so, <laughs> that's pretty exciting. The first thing you'll probably notice when you open up Photoshop Elements 2022 is that the interface is light and bright. In celebration of 20 years of Photoshop Elements, the Adobe team has put a fresh new look on the interface. It's subtle. You won't see new icons or big changes in the interface, but it's just been given a lovely freshen up. I recommend upgrading if you have a version without a year in the name. So if you have Photoshop Elements version 15 or earlier, it's time to upgrade. So many new features have been updated and added in the last handful of versions. Plus the program's now designed for 64-bit systems and it makes much better use of your RAM or your working memory of your computer.
Now, if your focus is photo editing and you use Photoshop Elements to edit your photos, I'd recommend upgrading if you have Photoshop Elements 2018. There are now 60 guided edits. Oops, you can adjust facial features. There's support for high efficiency files from your Apple iPhones and there's performance improvements galore. And with photo editing, the big flagship feature that they've added this year is the warp tool. I already mentioned that, but you might be wondering what the warp tool is. You can now warp any layer to any shape. So you're now able to adjust the handles around the edges of your photograph or layer individually. You can also use uh, Bezier curve handles to curve the shapes. This has been a wish list item for Photoshop Elements users for many years. So if warp tool sounds fun to you, you definitely want to upgrade this year. If you use Photoshop Elements to create social media posts, say you have a small business or your own personal brand, I definitely recommend upgrading from Photoshop Elements 2019 or older. Photoshop Elements 2022 has lots of social media specific features like quote graphics, moving pictures, and there's new features this year that build on last year's release, including being able to save your moving photos as MP4 or GIFs. And there's built-in sizing for the different social media sites that make creating your social media posts easier. Do you like to create slideshows? If you like to use the video slideshow feature in Photoshop Elements, you will be excited for this year's release. If you have any previous version of Photoshop Elements and you use the video slideshows, I recommend upgrading this year. There are a handful of new animated slideshow styles to choose from absolutely jump on board. I love the video slideshow feature in Photoshop Elements. It's a great way to upgrade a plain boring slideshow. They've got built-in music, they've got transitions, they've got color effects. It's it's really good. If you haven't checked it out, I have a blog post about that too. Do you like to edit video? Then you'll want to check out Premiere Elements. I don't teach classes for Premiere Elements here at DigiScrap HQ, but it is a really solid program and there's great new features in this version. There is an auto reframe for your subject, which means you can easily resize your videos for social media, keeping the most important part of the action in the frame. That's powered by Adobe Sensei and it works great for clips with a lot of movement. Another new feature is the ability to pick the perfect aspect ratio. You can edit and export your videos in vertical, square or horizontal ratios without losing content. And you can also add titles, mats and backgrounds designed for non-horizontal videos. There are two new guided edits for Premiere Elements. You can add animated overlays. You can jazz up your videos with flitting butterflies, circling hearts and other beautiful and whimsical animations. And you can also adjust shadows and highlights much like you can in levels or in your guided edits in Photoshop Elements. You can adjust shadows and highlights in your videos and it's really great for those under or overexposed videos. There are new slideshow styles as we've talked about for Photoshop Elements. We've got them in Premiere Elements too. You can compress your videos for sharing. There's now a slider that you can use to resize your, your movies so that they're easy to upload to the web and social sites. And of course, there's that refreshed look and feel with a new light and bright interface. So if you use video editing or you'd like to, I would definitely suggest upgrading if you have Premiere Elements 2018 or older. It's well worth the upgrade. If you like to have an organized photo library, here's what you need to know about the latest updates to the organizer. Adobe Elements Organizer comes with either Photoshop Elements or Premiere Elements, and it works with both videos and photos. Organizer can now play GIF or GIF files within the organizer. And there's also been an update to the automated video tagging. 
organizer can automatically add keyword tags or smart tags to videos. And then when you search using those tags, the video that appears in your search results, when you double click on that to open it, the video just plays from that point. So if you are filming a birthday party and you pan across the room, organizer sees the cake and tags it with cake, when you open up the video in your search for cake, you'll see the birthday cake and you won't have to watch the entire video to see where the clip is that you need. It's really quite handy. If you use Organizer 2018 or earlier, you definitely want to upgrade. Adobe changed their mapping service, so the maps aren't currently working in earlier versions of Organizer. Of course, you have more than just maps. You have a greatly improved people tagging view, automatic catalog backups, and other performance improvements. I always say consider upgrading if you find the organizer is a little bit slow and you have at least eight gigabytes of RAM. So to summarize, if you are using Photoshop Elements 2018 or older, this year is a solid upgrade, well worth your $79.99. And if you love video editing, this is the year to jump in to Premiere Elements or upgrade if you've been using an older version. There's no show-stopping headlines for the organizer, but with my 100,000 image library that I'm using on a daily basis, I have seen improvements in Photoshop Elements 2022. What are your plans? Are you going to upgrade? What feature are you waiting for before you upgrade? Comment below and let me know what you'd love to see in Photoshop Elements. You might even discover that it's already there, hiding under a menu or in the guided edits. And I will let you know if that feature exists or if we should add it to the feature requests for next year's version. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell icon to make sure you're notified of upcoming videos about Photoshop elements or digital scrapbooking. And if you'd like to learn more, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.